my tutorial for how to play fast car. No capo, standard tuning, and easy chords for most players. Alright, let's get started right away. The first chord we're going to use is a D major 9, and it's made this way. So if you're not familiar with some of the chords we're using in this tutorial, use the link at the bottom of the page and go to the specially designed chord tutorial for this song. Okay? Learn the chords and you can come back here and be ready to play the song. Okay? So again, the first chord is a D major 9. Easy to make. These two fingers go to the second fret on the D and the B string and we're going to play it like this. Starting with the D string, my thumb is going to sweep down like that. Go to the pinky and strike the B string holding down the third fret. Open it up again and strike the B string. And then we're going to play the high E string. And then we're going to play the G string. Okay, let's do that again. Okay, so that's how we're gonna, that's what we're after as far as the picking goes. Now we're gonna have to move from that chord to the next chord, which is an A suspended two. Right? So this is what we're after. Alright, now what we did there is we were parked on the D major 9 chord. We're going to strum from the D string, strike the D note with the pinky, open it back up, and then we're going to go move up to the A suspended 2 chord, and after we do get there, we're going to play the A string and the high E string and then we're going to play the G string. Okay, so that was... just like that. Now our next move is we're going to go up to an F sharp minor by taking the first finger, parking it at F sharp, and that's on the D string at the fourth fret, and then we're going to take the middle finger and park it on the high E string on the fifth fret, and we're going to strum like this. We're strumming the D string and the high E string twice. So you're going to do that. You're going to strum that string twice. Right? Just like that. Just those two strings. And then you're going to move down to the second fret and strum an E chord. It's just a two note chord and you're going to use the first finger and the ring finger and strum it twice. Just like that. We're just strumming the D string and the high E string. And right after that, we're going to lay that finger down and catch that A note right there on the second fret. Okay, so just like that. Real cool trick. So this is what we did. And that whole thing gives us this. All right.
right, that's our little intro. Okay, now there's a variation to that. And when we come up again, we go up here to our F sharp minor, and we're going to take that ring finger and strike it this way. So we get this. That's all it is. Okay, we're striking the D and the high E string, hammering on that seventh fret, it's like that. So we've got this. And then we're going to slide down, exchange the fingers, remember, go to the E. That's an E note right there. And then we've got our G sharp. And we're going to use the same pinky to do this. Just like that, up at the fifth fret. So I'm going. So this is what we get. And then back to our D major 9. That's our intro and verses. Now let's go to the change or the bridge. We're going to go to D, a D chord, A chord, F sharp minor 7, and E. We're only going to do that once. Each chord will be strummed for four beats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're going to do that once, and the next thing we do will be D, F sharp, and then E. And we will be doing that twice, and that will be one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So D got two beats. F sharp minor seven got two beats, and E got four beats. And we did that twice. And to end it, we're gonna go to D. E. And we're back into our intro part. Now the whole thing is like this. Remember where we were driving? strumming pattern I'm using on this is just eighth note strumming patterns. That's up and down, or down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, like that. Okay, now I'm putting some emphasis on the way I'm squeezing the chords, but the arm pattern is just up and down like that, doing eighth notes. So, so one, two, three, four, one. Nothing fancy. You will eventually get the sound of the record just by working with it. Okay, you just go. And so I'm striking it a little bit harder sometimes, you know. One and two and three and four. See, on the fourth beat, I struck it a little bit harder just to get that uh, rhythm of the song going. All right, well, that's pretty much all for this one. This is Fast Car, and as I said, if you're a little bit iffy on the chords, use the chord tutorial link on the bottom of the page. Go to that, learn how to finger the chords, how to get your fingers in the right place, and then come back to this tutorial and learn the song.